Welcome to the Moldex 3D Quick Start Tutorial for R17 Studio. To begin, we're going to open up the R17 Studio application and create a new project. We can add any new name that we want to to this project. Then we can go in and import the geometry, usually step files are recommended, and our geometry imports as a non-attributed object. We're going to attribute this as the part so that we can run the analysis on it. If we just want to run a simple analysis, we can run a pin gate using the gate wizard. And we can generate the mesh very quickly. From here, we're going to click on the final check, which will allow us to move from the pre-processing stage into post-processing, where we will select the material to find a default process, select our analysis sequence, and then finally run the simulation. Once the simulation is completed, then we can start doing result interpretation. The new Moldex 3D Studio gives us the ability to slice through the part and then place probes along the length of our part. In this case, we're placing five probes, and we can rename these probes. We have one at the inlet, three intermediate probes, and one at the end of fill. We can then attribute all these probes as a group, which will enable us to graph all of the results from these nodes together. Using the distribution tool, we can plot all these nodes, and then we can move all these nodes however we want to in this graph. So right now we have them as inlet, M1, M2, M3, and end, but we can move these however we want to to manipulate what the graph looks like. Next we can inspect the warpage results and using the measure distance tool selecting the LX, LY, and LZ we can get the linear shrinkage from one point to another. Using this linear shrinkage in combination with the anisotropic compensation tool, we can compensate for the linear shrinkage and just show what our differential shrinkage looks like. Next we can go into the anchor plane and this will allow us to visualize the flatness of the part using the displacement result. And finally, a new feature in Moldex 3D Studio R17 is this comparison tool. So the comparison tool allows us to visualize the differences between two different runs. So we can sync the angle, result, and range to make sure that we're doing a one-to-one -one comparison between these two runs. And we can see the difference in the results here. The density here being pretty similar, but the warpage being quite different. Thank you for looking at this Moldex 3D Studio Quick Start, and we'll see you next time.